a training on a 3CX VoIP system uh, using the A-Link T28 phones. Uh, these are your line buttons. So if a call were to come in or you were on a call, one of these positions would be lined up. Uh, be the first one, and then the second one, depending on how many calls you're on. So for example, if a call comes in, you pick it up. You can see it's coming in on that position one. And we're talking, and if I put the call on hold, you can see it's blinking, it's held there. It's exclusively held only on this phone. No one else can retrieve it. Now, I'm going to pick it up by simply hitting the button. Now I'm back on the call. So if I want to park the call, now parking is different. Parking, uh, it's system-wide. So anybody that has this parking button would be able to uh, retrieve that call. So for me to park it, all I did was I was on the call and I hit the park button. Now to retrieve it, pick up the handset, hit the park button, and now you're back on the call. Okay? So let's say I'm on the call and now I don't want to park it. I don't want to hold it. I want to transfer it. Just simply hit transfer. You can either hit the extension number of the of the uh, of the person that you're transferring it to, or you can um, input their digits, their extension number, and then just hang up. So transfer the extension number and then hang up, and the call is now transferred. Um, it puts the call on hold, as you can hear, until uh, the other person answers the call. I'm just going to hang that up. Okay. So that's holding a call, parking a call, and transferring a call. Okay, and other buttons on this phone, how this one is set up, we have a history, you have the 3CX phone book, you have a do not disturb, and you have a menu. All these buttons are all the same. You got your mute, conference message, a headset, you can toggle on or off if you have one hooked up, um, your hold button, and your transfer button. These buttons here do change um, depending on the status of the call, whether you're on a call or off a call. Um, it could be a mute there, transfer there. Um, for this demonstration, what we have here is three parking positions. Green meaning uh, they're, avail uh, they're available to be used. Red would mean they're in use. And then these, what we've done is we set up parts, service, and a body shop. Um, these are actually paging buttons to the phones. So for example, if we wanted to page the phones in parts and we had a group of phones in there, we would just hit parts and you'd make your page just hang up okay and we also have this incoming button here so if uh, let's say an incoming call and your phone is not set up to ring on inbound calls but you still want the ability to to answer them for example so if a call is coming in on this uh, on this other extension it, you're gonna hear it ringing but it's not gonna be this phone uh, so the calls coming in if I want to retrieve I'm gonna pick up the handset and I'm gonna hit that button that's blinking and now I'm on the Okay. Um, then if you have speed dials, you can have these here. I don't have them set up, but you would just hit the buttons and it would be a speed dial. And then we set up another button here as a page. This would be for an external. Uh, maybe you have zones, um, but we set that up here. Typically, we want to set up all the phones the same as we've done here. So if we were going to install this, we would typically have all the phones set up the same. Maybe you have a front desk or more of a console presence then you would be able to extend off of here and have everybody's extension. Um, but for the most part, we've set these up. So everybody's phone is the same, so no matter where you were to go, you'd be familiar um, with the setup. Uh, this is the Yaling T28. These are the new color, and this is the desktop application. Okay. And that should do it. Thanks.